What's happening guys, it's Bad Nakpal for iGander in the big boys of the Android world are here, starting with the HTC Butterfly which was launched in India for a price of 45,990 rupees. Let's pull out the trusty old unboxing knife and quickly unbox the HTC Butterfly and see what the box contents are like. While the packaging is indicative of the new HTC packaging style, you have the phone placed right in the front of the package. We'll put that aside for the time being and take a look at the box contents. On the inside of the standard packaging, you'll find a phone, a SIM removal tool, the standard HTC Innovation headphones, a charger, a charging cable, the documentation. Unfortunately, the knife is not included. On the front, we have a 5-inch LCD 3 display, which has a 1080p resolution, Gorilla Glass 2, and a 440 pixel per inch density. On the front, we have a 2 megapixel camera, which is capable of shooting full HD video and has an f2 lens. We have the standard HTC button placement at the bottom with the three touch capacitive buttons. On the right hand side of the device, we have the volume rockers. On the top of the device, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack, the power button, a micro SIM, and a micro SD card slot behind a covered door. On the bottom, we have the micro USB port behind the door as well along with the main microphone pinhole. On the left, we have the red accent continuing on with the design. On the back, we have a soft touch finish back panel along with an 8 megapixel camera with an f2 lens capable of shooting 1080p video. It has a scratch proof lens and an LED flash. On the bottom, we have the Beats logo along with the speakerphone grill. The HTC is touting several splash proof capabilities of the device the 3.5mm headphone jack remains exposed and is not covered by any door. On the inside of the device, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro SoC, which also has a 1.5GHz quad-core processor. We also have an Adreno 320 GPU. The device comes with 16GB of inbuilt storage, 50GB of Dropbox, and 2GB of RAM. The minute you unlock the device, you'll be able to see the standard HTC Sense user interface, which has been slightly changed to fit the new design layout of the device. While most of the widgets and icons are available easily, you'll be able to see that this is a newer style of HTC Sense. If we quickly jump to the settings panel from the notification panel on the top, you'll be able to see in the about screen that this device is running Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean along with HTC Sense 4 Plus. We do have a standard HTC phone dialer which does have the standard contacts, groups and call history tabs at the bottom. The keyboard is also the HTC Sense keyboard which allows you to type in portrait or landscape on this beautiful screen allowing you to continuously input using the new trace input system. Let's quickly connect to the Wi-Fi and see how the internet experience is on this device. While the beautiful 1080p LCD 3 display has stunning viewing angles and excellent brightness, viewing web pages was a complete breeze thanks to the 440 pixel per inch density. Text is really crisp and the color reproduction is absolutely stellar. As far as the display is concerned, we are really impressed with what HTC has packed into the device. Let's quickly play back a video. You'll notice that video playback is really accurate, colors seem really deep, and audio is really loud as well. While it's too soon to tell whether this device is capable of competing with the likes of Sony Xperia Z or HTC's own upcoming M7, the phone has been launched in limited quantities in India and we heard about 2000 units were available on sale. For a price of Rs 45,990, we are honestly doubting if HTC can pull a crowd with this one. Please stay tuned for our benchmarks, gaming and full review of the HTC Butterfly. If you have any questions or queries, do leave them in the comment section below. You can check out full unboxing details on iGan.in. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and you can subscribe to us on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash iGan, youtube.com slash iGan TV. For iGan Networks, this is Bhimbhar Thank you guys so much.